Uh, thank you, Kevin, and good morning to all, and I, and I apologize in advance for not being able to present in person, and thank you all for giving me the opportunity on behalf of the Garuda Alliance uh, to present Garuda and how we can work together with Transmart. So I want to talk today about Garuda for the next 20 minutes. So before I go into what is Garuda, I wanted to start on why Garuda. So I think all of us are aware of, uh, and especially in this community, are aware of the data diversity that we are dealing in biological sciences. Uh, the so-called big data where we have high variability, the variety, volume, and especially for our domain, uh, we need veracity and visualization given the complexity and the privacy issues related to the data. So with this background of the data diversity, uh, based on our research as well as those of collaborators, we see a lot of diversity in the analytics tools that are used to process the data. So what we call from or high dimensional data, we also have high dimensional analytics uh, depending on the scale at which we are trying to look into a complex biological system. So with this background of analytics diversity, uh, of course, we are all aware that there is a whole plethora of databases, tools, and services uh, providing different domains of knowledge as well as analytical tools, depending on the question people are asking. So the two problems that we have seen, and I'm sure all of you will also have faced the problem uh, dealing with this diversity, both in data as well as in the analytics platform. Uh, the first of which we call the problem of discoverability, which is which tool should I use given a problem and a data set that I have? How do I find the right tool? And what are the specific details associated with using that tool for the analysis that I want to do? So in other words, where should I go given that I have a data and a problem that I want to deal with? Where should I go to discover the right tools for the right data that I have? So that is what we call the problem of uh, discoverability. And closely related to this problem is what we call the problem of navigability, which is how we walk through the multiple tools that we need to work on. So most of the time, when we are analyzing the data, we cannot use a single tool for the analysis that we want to do. So how do I navigate through the tools? And all of us have probably gone through experiences of roadblocks and dead ends because of incompatible formats or version mismatch between two different software from two different groups that we want to use together in analyzing the data we have. So these two problems of discoverability and navigability led us to actually look into the landscape that given the complexity and the multiple dimensions in which we need to characterize biomedical data, it is extremely challenging to develop a single tool which covers this dimension. So the focus is shifting and we believe should shift from tools to platforms and Transmart being one of such a data management platform and Garuda came with the idea that we need a platform which allows us to discover the right tool and navigate through the tools. So we wrote a paper uh, uh, in Nature Review Genetics in a couple of years back where we proposed that we need a platform for biomedical research which should have three characteristics. It should be open, it should be discoverable, and it should be navigable uh, based on the three uh, tenets that I had mentioned. And in terms of open, this is very central to the concept of Garuda. It means we should be able to interface with multiple analytics tools. So it should not be a platform which only supports, let's say, NGS analysis or network analysis. But it should be open to different kinds of analytic tools which can be discovered and be navigable through the Garuda platform. So this brings us then to what is Garuda. So I just wanted to briefly start with the, uh, the mythology. So Garuda is actually a, a bird in Hindu mythology which played a very critical role in one of uh, the key events in Hindu mythology which was the churning of the sea of milk. 
and uh, this is one of the events where the gods and the demons kind of collaborated together and Garuda as the bird was the platform and the Sanskrit word is Vahana for the supreme god who was kind of the commander in chief for this event. So uh, we believe that given the complexity of biological systems uh, we need such a platform which is open, community driven and provides a framework to interface discover and navigate through different gadgets so that different stakeholders from informaticians to clinicians to biologists and modelers can work together in this platform. So this is the background uh, of Garuda and what you see here are the key components of Garuda and I will very quickly go through them. So at the heart of Garuda is what we call gadgets. So gadgets are essentially software and services which have been Garuda enabled, they have connected to the Garuda platform and are accessible from within the platform. So once a gadget actually enables Garuda, it is discoverable from the main window which is called the dashboard. So you can think of it like, uh, so this what you see on the screen is the Garuda dashboard. Uh, on the left hand side there are different categories and on the main panel you can see these gadgets which are different pieces of software belonging to different categories. So the, the dashboard is the, wind, is the interface for the users to access and navigate uh, through different gadgets. And of course we need a platform from where the user will be able to discover the gadgets and download the gadgets on their dashboard. That's why we came up with the concept of the Garuda Gateway, which provides a web based interface to access and discover gadgets. So you can think of it like an app store for biomedical research, which allows users to discover gadgets and access them. And as I mentioned at the start, that the, the principal philosophy of Garuda is the concept of the alliance, because it's impossible for one team to develop all the tools necessary. So at the base of Garuda is the alliance and currently uh, it's a global consortium of uh, leaders in informatics and analytics uh, from over uh, 15 countries. So right now the alliance has around 20 members who together provide uh, close to 35 gadgets. Uh, and we also have industry partners and we are very happy that Takeda Pharmaceuticals is one of the launch customers and users of the Garuda platform and we also have collaboration with the FDA who have expressed interest in deploying Garuda as <coughs> for uh, analytics. So um, I, I just wanted to, but this is a technical session, so I just wanted to spend a few minutes on how does Garuda work and then I'll skip uh, a few slides and show the demo uh, demo directly. So essentially, the idea behind the way we allow different services and software to connect and discover is through API. So Garuda defines language agnostic application programming interfaces, which allow different software and services connect with Garuda and therefore become a Garuda gadget. And once they become a Garuda gadget, they are now discoverable on the platform. And depending on the input outputs that they support, users can navigate through the different gadgets. And I'll show that to you uh, in a minute in the demo. So at the heart of the uh, Garuda system is what we call the core engine, which you can see here provides the abstraction layer and the API to access the Garuda protocol. So as I mentioned that based on this Garuda API, different software and services can implement the API in the language of their choice and therefore make their software and services Garuda gadgets and thus discoverable and navigable from within Garuda. So the key technical principles which you can see uh, in the slide here, I just wanted to mention two things. One is the language independent protocols, which is very important to be able to 
connect with different softwares written in completely different languages and the ability to support multi-language binding. So right now, Garuda APIs are available in C, C++, Java, uh, JavaScript APIs on its way. We have Python, R, uh, as well as even uh, Visual Basic Macros, which enable Excel to become Garuda enabled. So I want to, uh, to stop here and uh, show a little bit, uh, maybe a three minute video of how Garuda works because of time I, I don't have, uh, so you can see I've launched Garuda dashboard and what you see is I first launched a gadget called Gadget Social. So the gadget social actually is the gadget which provides the connectivity between the different gadgets you have on your dashboard. So what you see as the network, each node is one of the gadgets on my dashboard and the connectivity is essentially showing which gadgets can communicate or be friends with other gadgets depending on the data type that they can send and receive. So if one gadget can, for example, send a list of ensemble IDs and another gadget can receive that ID, they are friends on the gadget's social network and therefore they can communicate with each other in a particular workflow. So what you see here is I'm showing a sub-network of the social connectivity of different gadgets. And this is the connectivity matrix of the gadgets arranged on the frequency of connection that they have. And next I launched the gadget called Nandi, which is the analytics assistant gadget. So I think one of the driving forces behind Garuda is the fact that instead of having to find the tool of interest, we realize that people actually have data that they want to start with. So, Garuda works by essentially allowing the user to select the data which you will see right now. So, I'm just loading some sample files which is a list of genes. Then the type of data it is, it is a list of genes. And then you see I click on discover. The moment I click on discover, Garuda automatically discovered from my dashboard which are the gadgets which can receive this file and therefore process this file. And since it's an assistant, if you actually ask it to show me gadgets which can analyze a list of genes, it will launch that gadget and automatically send the list of files. So this is the Panther gadget which you are seeing on your screen. The gadget was launched, the list of genes was sent automatically to it and the enrichment analysis was performed. So what you see on the screen was the pathway enrichment analysis was performed. And now I want to see, okay, I have a pathway which was enriched from the set of genes that I had given. What is the next tool I can use in order to further process the data? And that's the navigable part, the navigability feature of Garuda, that instead of having to define your workflow a priori, you define your workflow on the go. So I did the analysis, I clicked on discover on the Panther gadget, and you can see it discovered the list of downstream gadgets which can receive the enriched pathway and probably do some more analysis. So that's what you're seeing here. So the selected pathway was in HTML format and therefore I was able to launch the designer and visualize the pathway. And after saving the pathway, I can continue the workflow. You see, I'll discover on cell designer. I extracted a list of genes using a gadget called species extractor from that map. So it extracted the list of genes. And continuing the workflow, we wanted to explore experimental data available. So this is a gadget from the National Institute of Health in Japan uh, who have provided their data. I'm exploring the experimental data available from that database specific to the set of genes. You can see the results in the form of a graph. 
So for example, this is a toxicology database. So I was just checking what is the effect on caffeine on the MEG gene. And we can see the data. So this gives you a basic idea of how Garuda can essentially help users discover a tool of interest and navigate through the tools on the fly depending on the question that they actually want to know. Answer. So I just want to go back to my uh, presentation here. So that's the preview and the and I just for the last couple of minutes I just wanted to go through uh, the roadmap of Garuda. We have released it in summer 2014 at ISMP in Boston. So if you go to our website, you can find the links at the end. Uh, the version 1.0 beta is freely available for download. It has around 35 gadgets and currently available on Mac and Windows. And we can provide the Linux versions on request depending on the version of Linux people are using. And we provide an invited access to the store of the Garuda Gateway. So if you go to gateway.garuda-alliance.org, you would be able to download the gadget. And as I mentioned at the start, it's impossible for a single group to actually develop all the necessary tools to analyze the complex data. So community is key to Garuda and we would like to urge the Transmart community uh, to join Garuda, use the gadgets in your projects, suggest new gadgets and pipelines, and even develop your own gadgets. And, uh, the way I, I mean, uh, the way we see Garuda and Transmart working together, and it may be wrong here since we are just starting to learn more about the Transmart platform. So Transmart provides a central knowledge repository integrating clinical and omics data. While well, Garuda essentially provides a platform for discovery and navigation of analytics on top of the data. So together we can provide an advanced knowledge management platform which not only does data management but allows users to discover the right tools to analyze the data and navigate through it. So we can have the, the transport system on one end. We can hook it up with the Garuda API and therefore provide access to the community to a wide range of analytic tools and gadgets through their dashboard. So I think with that I'm probably just in time and I would urge you all to discover and navigate uh, on Garuda and this is the website garuda-alliance.org where you can find all the relevant information as well as links to the gateway and I thank you all for your time. Thank you, Tommy. So we do have uh, time for a question or two, and so I suppose I'll keep you have a question or comment. So uh, thank you, Tommy, for, for your uh, presentation. That was very nice. Uh, in terms of uh, the platform, uh, in terms of uh, licensing the source code, can you give us a quick comment on, on the availability of the source code, um, you know, who's participating in development, and what license it's offering? So I'm sorry, there's a lot of echo, and Kevin, I was not able to get the question clearly. So would it be possible for you to repeat it? Okay. Samik, can you hear me now? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, this is Keith Elliston. Thank you very much for a, for a very nice presentation. Uh, thank sorry, you, thank you. Sorry you couldn't be here. We have to meet in person sometime. Um, Absolutely. Uh, in terms of the of the project, can you comment on um, the license for the source code? Who's participating in development, uh, and how how one can collaborate at that level? Yeah, so that's a good question. So the license model on Garuda is the platform itself is uh, will be released under a Creative Commons license, and the for the gadget itself, we have what we call the Buy All license scheme B Y O L, which is bring your own license. So each gadget developer is actually open to bring whatever license they are ready to bring on Garuda. So the platform itself is released under Creative Commons. The APIs and the source code associated with the development of gadgets will be released under a Creative Commons license. But the gadget developers themselves can decide what is the right license model that they want to bring.
And so does that mean for a gadget license that you may have uh, commercial closed licenses as well as open licenses? That is absolutely possible. Okay, interesting. Thank you. Any other questions? Great. Samak, again, thank you for uh, making time out of your busy schedule to uh, participate remotely and, and, and share um, the work that uh, SBI is doing around Garuda. Thank you. Thank you, Kevin. I appreciate it. Thank you all.